Hey guys. Um, I'm a little croaky, but I wanted to go ahead and film this video. Um, today I'm doing an unboxing um, for the uh, unplugged book box. This is the first of these that I've ever done. Also, location change. Um, my son is watching a Disney movie of some sort. Uh, and I didn't want to get pinged for copyright because you know how Disney is about that. So I came in the bedroom for a little peace and quiet. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just chilling and I have to be very still because I have the camera propped up on pillows and crap like that. So, you know, it's not, not really a, um, you know, a, a normal filming situation. <laughs> okay, so this book box, I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Like, I actually almost, uh, like I was thinking before I turned the camera on that maybe I needed to do like a, um, like a series of some sort because here's what happened. What had happened? Um, I drank too much wine. And I got a little tipsy and I went online on my phone and I bought I buy things and uh, I bought myself a few unplugged book box months so It's appropriate to the channel. So I'm gonna unbox it. So and I'm gonna unbox it uh, You know live in this video in the sense that I, I have no idea what's in it. So you'll get my honest reaction to it so here it is i can't show you the here we go i can't show you the other side because it's got like my my address and i don't want you to care but i don't want you showing up on my doorstep because that would be problematic but yeah it's a cute little box it's a lot like an owl crate box or a book of the month box where it's like it has a flap i really like that and i hang on to boxes like this and use them for gifts and stuff at like christmas time or just to hoard garbage in my house. Not garbage garbage, but you know, things I don't need to keep. You know, like, oh, I'll use this at some point. No girl, you ain't gonna use it. So, okay, let me use my scissors. I, I, I got some trusty scissors. I'm gonna slit the tape so I can open this flap. Um, and get into it. It has worms. I'm gonna get worms in my bed, y'all. Okay. Oh, something in it smells good. Nice. Okay. This is the August 2021 Young Adult Fiction Unplugged Book Box. So I think what happened... I think what happened is that I um, saw someone else unbox something. I was like, I want one. And I don't think I was into whatever the adult one was because I read everything so anyway um this has got spooky vibes it is the the theme is something wicked this way comes and so this art on this side is like this party and I'm not going to look at all the fine print on this other side because you know it tells me things and then there's like a whole crap ton of worms all these worms although you know they are quite handy I guess for uh, gift stuff I'm just gonna scooch them out of the way put them on my husband's side of the bed <laughs> okay uh, there's lots of things in here y'all this box this box is packed with stuff so like tipsy me I wasn't drunk I was just tipsy like my inhibitions okay so I'm going to just reach and grab what's on top right here. And there is this little drawstring baggie. And there's extra worms. A little drawstring baggie with a couple of things inside. There's, oh, a thing with, cord, uh, you know, burlap cord or whatever. Let's see. It's a bottle. It's a little glass bottle with a, do you see? Do you see him? He's a little glass bottle and he's got like a sh like it's like it's got shoestring ends. Like, okay. Now, what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? This is a 
another little bottle and it, they're wrapped in tissue paper so let me t get through the tissue paper I actually have had some tissue paper oh this is what I'm smelling guys okay this is a hundred percent pure peppermint essential oil so yeah this is what hello this is what I was smelling when I opened the box this minty this peppermint when I was a kid mm, yeah and brings me back to my, like my kid years when I was a kid my dad used to keep peppermint oil like handy for if you like were having stuffed up sinuses you could just like uncap it and just take a whiff and kind of help with your sinuses. Okay, cool, cool. And I'll look at the details on that in just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna grab something else. Okay, this is a heal balm. Sophia's heal balm for recovery after the annual balm ball. <laughs> Hello. Okay. You see? There it is. So it's like a giant chapstick type thing and you rub it on your dry funky hills. I'm going to need this because um, when I go back to work and I'm on my feet suddenly all day long, um, my feet might get raggedy. So yeah, like this is, this is cool. I'm guessing it's from, I don't know. I'll tell you all the details whenever I get the, uh, you know what let's I'll tell you all the details when I look at the card I'm not looking at the card yet no 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 okay let me look at something else what else do we got here okay this little guy you see him he's in a little wrapper so we're gonna untie this get a little ribbon it looks like a cauldron tis a cauldron it is a bath bomb with a surprise inside. Ooh, it has a. Mmm, smells like cherries. Yeah, it has a fruity, like a fruit punchy kind of smell. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at how cute he is. It looks like a cauldron, like a little witchy cauldron. And it says that there is a, uh, I can't hardly read it because there's like dust on the top. Intoxicating power. Oh, it says tropical fruit and revenge. Okie dokie. I'm going to put him back in this little plastic bag because I don't want to get a bath bomb in my bed. Bath bombs are for the bathtub, which I don't generally take baths. I consider baths to be people soup. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not really, I'm more of a shower kind of gal. But anyway, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. There's this little pink, no, red bottle of sorts. It has a little sticker that says, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Can I get into you? Hello, ma'am. Excuse me. Can I? All right, fine then. I'm going to get the Caesars. <laughs> I got worms hanging off of them. Get off of me, worms. <sighs> and I, I did, my first cut wasn't, wasn't, okay. Was not sufficient. Okay. Yeah, they wrapped it up because it is a, a grapefruit, Graveyard Dirt Face Cleanser infused with botanicals. Okay, so we just gonna give a little sniff. Oh, he's sealed for my protection. Nice. Thank you, dude. Mmm, it smells like grapefruit. Yeah. There we go. It says Sydney on it. And it's got a little skull on it. I don't know, like, if, I have to be really careful about what I put on my face, because I, <laughs> I am a sheet of paper, and so it doesn't take much to aggravate my skin. Okay, 
Ooh, this says Nevermore on it. It is a hot cold rice pack. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I was younger, I was a young mom once upon a time, and when I was in the hospital having my second child, someone made, gave me a homemade rice pack that was made of a giant, it was like the longest plain white men's athletic tube sock with I guess like long grain rice in it and it was the best. I would pop that sucker in the microwave and wrap it around my shoulders when I would get you know get all hunched up and stressed out from taking care of the baby. It was like one of the midwives gave it to me in the, in the birthing center. Oh this is super cute. I can smell the rice. Okay it says hello it says potions and it's like got a cute like uh antique -y looking it's a nice just plain soft cottony fabric the back is just plain black um yes let me tell you you pop this in the microwave for just a little bit it warms it up and it holds on to the heat for a little while and then you just put it on the sore muscle like this and you just go <laughs> it's good after a long day at work okay I'm not mad at that I will use that okay now still got worms in the way now I've gotten to the collectible enamel pen let me take him from the plastic and I will show you what he looks like let go of me this is the August 21 young adult box for unplugged book box and this is what the collectible enamel pin looks like I have one of those like banner thingies hanging on the wall that I keep various enamel pins on so you'll join them my friend with the other ones okay so there's the sign book plate and then there's this note from the author and I'm gonna set that to the side because we have gotten to the book <laughs> book 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 and this cute purple wrapping which I'm going to use my scissors again I know I'm croaky and I took a nap I took a nap and woke up croaky and then also I'm, I'm, I'm crazy woke up crazy Ooh, oh my goodness the aesthetic of this book cover is something else mark of the wicked by georgia bowers okay check out this book cover you got like bats in the moon and sort of the fogginess and then you got like these wolf shapes and then this is a skeleton cat for real like a skeleton like is a little skeleton cat um but this is this is nice um and the back says magic always leaves its mark fantastic okay so we're gonna oh my goodness so there's a book cover on the book cover so here is the book cover underneath the book cover <laughs> okay cool uh that's really interesting and then on the back of this book cover it's like a synopsis okay so it's like have you has anyone ever given you oh and then the book underneath the spine is cool it's just black it's and it's just it's just i got to the book um yeah, like, have you ever had one of those gifts where people put a box and a box and a box? That's what it felt like. I'm, like, unwrapping, and then I unwrap it again. Um, but this first, this, this one that has, like, the really pretty aesthetic is thicker than the other. I like this one better than this one. I don't know. I'd rather have, like, creepy howling wolves than this girl-looking 
kind of freaked out in some leaves and stuff like that's just me i don't really necessarily need all the people's faces okay and then um i didn't show it but here is the card that on the back it says dear reader all kinds of stuff i want to say to you thank you for reading georgia bowers cool cool and then this is the signed book plate which I always stick them in the, I just, I stick them in the books. To me, it's like, hey, you, I got a signed book. And I'll stick the letter to the author in there too. So now I'm going to look at this card. Okay. So the, um, <laughs> the bath bomb with a surprise inside is witches steeped in gold cauldron bath bomb with surprise inside something wicked is coming for the two witches in sienna Sien and smart's novel despite their differences um uh they must face the evil together and this exclusive bath bomb is by sudsy duck soapery and it contains an exciting surprise inside uses a foot soak or shower steamer if you don't have a bath nice i'll probably put it as a shower steamer because i'm not gonna i, I don't i don't i don't do the bath thing okay then the next thing they have listed is the rice pack. It's the Edgar Allan Poe hot cold rice pack. It did have Edgar Allan Poe vibes, for real. Poe's tales are often inspired by all things wicked. This horror master knew all about things that go bump in the night. This exclusive rice pack is from Fire and Fiber, um, a woman-owned small business specializing in commission work in pottery, woven, and fine arts. And you can find them here at this Etsy link. And so I will put this information in the down below. The down below. Okay. Um, the pen, the enamel pen, was a Percy Jackson pen um, for Percy from Rick Riordan's uh, series. It seems wicked things are always coming for him. For real, dude, he could not even go to the bathroom without some disguised monster trying to bust in the stall like for real for real for real um whether from the gods people or internal struggles he knows how to face them with his head held high this is the final exclusive collectible pin in the year-long seasonal series with alessa's world and then there's another etsy link and then the essential oil diffuser okay um, this stunning glass diffuser will add flair wherever you hang it up. Drop a few drops inside to add fragrance to your car or room. So, yeah, nice. It's cute. It's got a good, like, natural kind of aesthetic with that little, like, burlap string thing and the whole, like, glass bottle. Okay, anyway. Um, the Raven Cycle essential oils and maggie steve otter's books gansey and the others are facing some wicked forces it seems the trouble always finds them but they learn to face it in their own ways this is an exclusive peppermint essential oil to be paired with your diffuser nice it'd be weird for them to give a diffuser and not give an oil because like i don't think that's something that necessarily everybody has in their house i'm just saying um Okay, so the next thing listed is Cinderella is Dead Heel Balm. I'm in, I'm so, I'm so interested in that book. That's going to be on my 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 wish list for people to gift to me. Anyway, in this Cinderella retelling by Kaylin Byron ba Byron Byron, Sophia must face some wicked things head on in order to be happy. This exclusive heel balm will make sure you're ready for the annual ball. It is by Ready Limited. Um, the next thing is Vicious Face Cleanser. Sydney from V.E. Schwab's novel Vicious has powers some might consider wicked. Um, however, she just wants to live a normal life and must face some dark forces to achieve that. This is an exclusive face cleanser from Petrichor Inc. And again, another Etsy link. And then the last thing, Mark of the Wicked exclusive dust jacket. So that was like the one that I was like, yes, vibes. Yes, me likey. Okay. 
This month's book has some dark and wicked elements. It's a debut novel and we hope you love it. This month we're featuring our first ever exclusive dust jacket. This book releases August 10th through Macmillan. Okay, so today is the 5th. So this book is five days early for me. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. It's a debut. Um, and I kind of don't want to know a whole lot about it with like... Okay, when a book has like a dark, thrillery, mystery, dark vibe sort of thing, I kind of like could go in not knowing a whole lot. So what I might do is just, um, you know, let you guys know later on. You know, later on how I, how I feel about it, okay? So, and I will have this information listed in the down below, like I said. Um, and then they have the card in the bottom that talks about what's coming soon. Um, let's see, the September, um, the September box for young adult, which is what I signed up for, is, um, let's see, finding your strength. Okay, it says anniversary boxes here. Hello, I got holding it crooked. Okay, and then there's also a, a, a limited edition horror box that'll ship in early, early October. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That sounds good. That sounds good. And then the adult fiction one is Rise from the Ashes. Check out that lady. She is like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay, cool. So that's all I got for that. I am so glad that you uh, stuck around for this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are, if you know anything about this book, if you're interested in this, if you also get Unplugged Book Box, or maybe you get like the adult one, like how different was it? Because I kind of want to see someone unbox that. So thanks for watching, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!